Good evening, this is Rashad Mitchell coming to you live from my YouTube channel. A team of my part series, the week that was college football edition review, the 1982 college football season from November 25th to November 27th. Games that were played during those dates. I'm going to start on Thanksgiving. There were two games. We're going to start with Virginia Tech. They beat Virginia by a score of 21-14. On the same Thanksgiving day, Texas, number 14 team in the country, beat Texas A&M, 53 to 16. On Friday, November 26, 1982, this was a big game between two top five teams, number two Penn State versus number five Pittsburgh. Where Penn State won 19 to 10. Wins affected win allowed Penn State to set up national title showdown with top ranked Georgia as Lions quarterback, top Blackledge, top Panthers quarterback Dan Marino for second straight year. Marino was held without touchdown pass. Pittsburgh touched the tailback Brian Thomas, game's leading rusher, had 143 yards, scored only touchdown for Panthers on four-yard run in second quarter. With win in third quarter, back Blackledge threw 31-yard touchdown to wide receiver Kenny Jackson on crossing pattern to give Nittany Lions 10-7 lead. Penn State kicker Nick Gansitano, who ignored win and ran all game. Up leads to 16-7 at two of his four field goals. Marino led Panthers downfield, but with 8.04 left, Pitt forcing fourth and goal at one-yard line. Coach Folge Fagio opted for a 17-yard field goal by kicker Eric Schubert. Pitt was able to create scoring opportunity once more. Which ended on missed field goal. Penn State Tailback Kurt Warner ran for 118 yards. Next, Nebraska, the nine team in the country, beat number 11, Oklahoma. Nebraska, number three team in the country, beat number 11, Oklahoma, 28 to 24 on Friday. Gaining 409 yards, the Cornhuskers proved to be. They get King Penn as nation's top rated offense delivered. Quarterback. Turner Gale led three touchdown drives in the first half as Nebraska built a 21-10 halftime lead. The Huskers' second half touchdown on one of two scores by fullback Doug Wilkening was set up by a trick play as Gill threw lateral to wing back over Fry that bounced before Fry caught it. Fry pretended that play was dead before throwing a 37-yard pass to tight end Mitch Crink to the Sooners' 14-yard line. Without eye back Mike Regier, who had 96 yards on 15 carries injured in the, sec in the second quarter. Huskers struggled in the second half and surrendered a touchdown on third play of third quarter when Oklahoma tailback Marcus Dupree, who had 149 yards rushing on 25 carries, ran 86 yards to score. Touchdowns were traded. Oklahoma was forced into the unfamiliar air waves in fourth quarter. Quarterback Kelly Phelps completed only one of 13 fourth quarter attempts as Sooners showcased worst ranked passing office in college football. Now, last good drive. The Sooners marched to the Nebraska 39-yard line before three straight incompletions ended. Possession with less than three minutes left. The offense did what it usually does, said Nebraska coach Tom Hobsbawm. But it was the defense that saved our bacon. Georgia, the number one team in the country, beat Georgia Tech 38-18. On day, Tennessee lost to Vanderbilt. Louisiana State was upset by Tulane top-ranked Nervous Georgia had led rival Georgia Tech only 7-6 at halftime. Tailback Russia Walker, who scored first half on 59 yards, canter, led Bulldogs to 31 points second half. Russia Walker ran for 162 yards, two touchdowns, becoming third all-time leading rusher in NCAA history with 5,259 yards to pass Ohio State Archie Griffin. Yellow Jackets. Featured games leading Russia. However, as tailback Robert Levette gained 203 yards and tallied two touchdowns to finish the season with school record 19 touchdowns. Tulane beat Louisiana State, the number seven team in the country, 31 to 28. For second straight season, Tulane turned tables on its rival quarterback, Mike McKay. Threw three touchdowns. McKay's winning touchdown with five minutes left. Went to 31 yards. Went 30 yards to field back, fullback Reggie Winchinelli. Tailback Gary James. 
Sport the Tigers by galloping 68 yards early in the fourth quarter for 28 to 24 lead. Had 166 yards, 18 carries, three touchdowns. That's your quarterback, Alan Risher. So his SEC best streak of 137 passing attempts without interception and with desperation throw with 23 yards, 23 seconds remaining. Two lane, four touchdown underdog last had two game winning streak in series in 19. 39, it was the greatest victory of my life. Anywhere, anytime, said Tulane coach Vince Gibson, who soon quit before he could be fired. Vanderbilt defeated Tennessee 28-21. Auburn beat Alabama 23-22. Nine straight series wins in the series. Crimson Tide lost hard fought game. Coach Bill Bryant's final regular season of the contest. Entering the fourth quarter, Alabama led 22 14 behind offense that rolled up 445 yards and 23 first downs to 132 yards, six first downs for Tigers. Halfback Bo Jackson had 114 yards and 17 carries. Jump start Tigers rally by racing 53 yards to set up for kicker. Alder Greco's 23-yard field goal. Auburn soon drove 66 yards, including quarterback Randy Campbell's 16-yard pass to wide receiver Mike Edwards on third and 14. It's the Jackson's one-yard touchdown drop. Bowl went over top of stack with 226 left. For the second touchdown of the day, <clears throat> Jackson almost went from hill to goal as he followed Auburn defensive back Bob Harris' second interception with fumble that gave Bama its last chance with 109 left. Alabama marched 25 yards before sack. The penalty pushed it well beyond striking difference. Auburn coach Pat Dye became first Bryant disciple to beat Master in 30 opportunities since 1970. Next, Southern California beat Notre Dame 17 to 13. Southern California is ranked number 17. They beat Notre Dame 17 to 13. It was fitting finale for outgoing USC coach John Robinson's Trojans won fifth straight controversially over rivals. It was 67th win in John Robinson's career in seven years at uh, USC. Looking like tailback Charles White, the 79 Rose Bowl tailback Michael Harper dove into the end zone from one yard line with 48 seconds left to cap a six yard drive, but Added without ball. Replays were inconclusive, but officials applied a touchdown to stand. Quebec Scott Tinsley had rallied Trojans connecting time and again with wide receiver Jeff Simmons, who set school records for career receptions at 106 catches in season 56, receiving yards in season 973. Led by quarterback Blair Kill, defense that allowed 54 yards rushing. Irish took 10 3 halftime lead, tacked on another field goal for 13 3 hatch in third quarter. Notre Dame outgained USC. By 392 yards to 297 yards to being carried off field by his players. Robinson said it was a magnificent win for USC in the USC tradition. This exemplifies what US, USC football is more than anything else. Next, Arizona State versus Arizona, where Arizona upset Arizona State, number 16 in the country. Beat 28 to 18. Leading win from the Wolves Bowl trip proved to be too much pressure for number six Sun Devils as defense allowed 92 yard touchdown on a short pass to Wildcats. Tailback Ryan Howland, 50 yard run at the catch ball while receiver Brad Anderson on 65 yard touchdown. Arizona State's special teams also collapsed with a block punt that was set up by Arizona kicker Max Lindeos' 37 yard field goal. It would rise kickoff return, resulting in safety for Wildcats. These runs added up to 19 nothing deficit. Arizona State Offense got into ugly mitts when tailback Alvin Moore's fumble at own 29 yard line led to one yard touchdown run by Holland. Tailback Derek Clark scored on two, scored two, two short touchdowns to rally Sun Devils. They were in hole too deep. Arizona State quarterback Todd Hans threw for 296 yards while quarterback Tom Tunnicliffe led Wildcats with 270 yards passing. Sun Devils lost. Jack Idol, UCLA, UCLA to Wolves Bowl. 
The AP poll looked like this for November 29th. The crews look at week 13. The games that play on November 25th to November 27th. Week 13, we're going to go with November 29th, AP poll. Number 20, Michigan. 19, Auburn. 18, Ohio State. 17, Maryland. 16, Southern Cal. 15, Florida State. 14, Oklahoma. 13, Louisiana State. 12, Texas. 11, Arizona State. 10, West Virginia. 9, Washington. 8, Clemson. 7, Pittsburgh. 6, Arkansas. UCLA, 5. Southern Methodist, 4. 3, Nebraska. Number 2, Penn State. And number 1, Georgia. Let's get into week 14. Only three games that were played on December 4th, 1982 that stood out. We're going to start with Navy beating Army 24-7 in Philadelphia. Then Florida beat Florida State, the number 15 team in the country, 13-10. Even though he would end game riding bench, Florida quarterback Wayne Peace hit 7-13, 109 yards passing, and becoming second most proficient yards maker in SEC history, setting NCAA Record with 70.73 percentage to top California's Rich Campbell's mark from 1980. Florida State jumped to 10-0 lead by marching 44 yards on the first series to kick a PM Hall's 37-yard field goal and 75 yard yards in the second half. Second quarter to third three-yard touchdown run by tailback Greg Allen. The five years of injuries, quarterback Bob Hico, Hico entered in second quarter, led drive with <clears throat> Tell back Lorenzo Hampton rushing for 57 yards to Hugo's 10 yard touchdown. Keeper thought it's kept momentum after Hunter, Hunter tying it early in the third quarter on kicker Jim Ganey's 22 yard field goal. Ganey capped 69 yard field goal, I mean, 69 yard fourth quarter drive with 22 yard field goal. Simmons had their last opportunity in on downs after quarterback Kelly Lowry moved offense to Florida 31 yard line. Last but not least, we got Texas, number 12 team in the country, beating number 6, Arkansas, 33-7. Arkansas, season ended with third as six turnovers. That's a 21-point spot, Longhorns. First mistake was interception. Thrown by Hawks quarterback Tom Jones, who later left game with Brooklyn that Texas converted into a yard touchdown run by fullback Irvin Davis. Arkansas sub quarterback Brad Taylor soon got the 46 yard touchdown pass to tailback. Gary Anderson, 7-7 tie, but Fumble set up 37-yard go-ahead touchdown pass by Longhorns quarterback Robert Brewer to wide receiver Herky Walls. Hawks three-minute miscue, third miscue, came late in the second quarter, and Fumble punt return was recovered by Hans Horns special teams team Ronnie Mullins, which led to touchdown for 21-7 lead, with Arkansas held to 68-yard rushing. Pressure was on Taylor, who was unable to muster a six and a half scoring drive. Texas tailback Darrell Clark rushed for 97 yards. So that includes a look at week 14. That's the final conclusion of the regular season on December 4th, 1982. Here's the AP poll December 6th. We got uh, number 20 Tulsa, 19 Michigan, 18 Auburn, 17 Ohio State, 16 Maryland, 15 Southern California, 14 Arkansas. 13 Louisiana State, 12 Oklahoma, 11 Arizona State. Top 10 round out is this West Virginia, 10, 9 Washington, 8 Texas, 7 Clemson, 6 Pittsburgh, 5 UCLA, 4 Southern California. I'm seeing, excuse me, 5 UCLA, 4 Southern Methodist, number 3 Nebraska, number 2 Penn State, number 1 Georgia. Tulsa, 20 Michigan, 19, 18 Auburn, 17 Ohio State, 16 Maryland. 15 Southern California, 14 Arkansas, LSU, Louisiana State, 13, 12 Oklahoma, 11 Arizona State, number 10 West Virginia, 9 Washington, 8 Texas, 7 Clemson, 6 Pittsburgh, 5 UCLA, 4 Southern Methodist, 3 Nebraska, 2 Penn State, and number 1 Georgia. So that includes look at week number 13, games that play on November 25th to November 27th, 1982, and week number 14, games that play on December 4th. 1982. Let's look at um, the conference standings in the ACC. It was won by Clemson with a 6 0 record. SEC conference won by Georgia, 6 0 record. Big Ten was won by Michigan, 8 1 record. Mid American conference won by Bowling Green, 7 2 record. Big Eight conference won by Nebraska with a 7 0 record. 7 0 and rec 7 0 and 1 record went to Southern Methodist. They won the Southwest Conference. Western Athletic Conference winner was Brigham Young, 7 1 record. 
five one and one record was UCLA. They finished at the top in the Pacific Ten, and the Pacific Coast Athletic was won by Fresno State with a six and zero record. Now, who's look at? Week 13, the games that I played on November 25th to November 27th, 1982. And week number 14, December 4th, 1982, the conclusion of the regular season of college football circa 1982. Please like, subscribe, and comment on the channel. Do a viewers mag too. I go over the major bowl games that were played in 1982 and conclude the whole season of the 1982 season. Go over the stats and who won the Heisman, all the award winners as well as the existence of the American team, etc. Until then, like, subscribe, and comment on the channel. Until then, talk to you tomorrow.